Go ahead, Kelly. Hey, my name is Kelly Anderson. So I'm going to try to make this quick. You guys can look this up online. This tests the quality of air. Okay, if anyone in fire, confined spaces, HVAC, okay, we're required to wear these machines if we go into an area where the air is unsafe. Does anyone want to volunteer to have me stick this behind your mask and see the quality of the air that you're having all the kids and your employees of the district do? You, anyone want to volunteer? Come on, raise your hand. No one else, come up here. So right now the air is safe, okay? So any mask, I don't care if it's cloth, whatever it is, put your mask on. So when this beeps, oh, it's not safe to breathe. So in violation of any OSHA, thank you so much. Of course. Any, any OSHA, any law, if anyone, fire department, any type of job, you're required to leave the area. So you're telling me that the kids and your employees of the district, they get to breathe this in for 40 hours and that's okay with you, right? That's fine. They can just do that. I can do it with any mask all day long. It'll work. OSHA, health effects from lack of air quality control, okay? Common symptoms, illness, allergies, stress, colds, or influenza, okay? Other things, failure to respond um, and quickly for the air quality control problems that lead to numerous health conditions, including irritation of eyes, nose, and throat, headaches, dizziness, rash, pain, and muscle fatigue. Okay, we have over 64 parents that are ready and already filing because of kids and headache. We have medical to prove that their doctors have signed off that they now are having chronic nosebleeds, headaches, and all these symptoms because of the masks. Okay, so again, the criminal things that are coming against you guys is, it's not, it's not a joke. Okay, this is not just my opinion. This is on the OSHA website, and it actually links to the CDC website because they say the exact same thing. So you guys are requiring, you're mandating, you're going above the law to require people to breathe in air that is tested to not be safe in any working environment, and you're doing it to minors. There's another little notch on there, okay? You're doing it to minors. Also, if you remember from the last meeting, I was the one that came up and said the masks that you are providing to the schools are made with formaldehyde, things like that. So, Pam, this is not to do, but if you look on the OSHA website, and I'm just saying this for your own safety, this mask that you're wearing, if it does not have NIOSH on the side, that mask is made in formaldehyde and with the fiberglass, just like I said last week. It's the brand of mask it is. So if you don't trust it, I would go test it. Okay, also, you guys are not listening to the children. They told you about what's happening at Turner, High, Turner Middle School. In the last meeting, you guys said it was hearsay, and you guys didn't investigate it. And these kids are proof. Thank that you. It Your time happening. is up.